Hello, my name is Russell Preston Brown from Adobe Systems, and this of course is The Russell Brown Show. In this tutorial, I'm going to be discussing the basics of working with some adjustment tools here inside of Adobe Lightroom Mobile. I want to take you through the process of correcting the image you see here. Check this out. I'm going to hold three fingers down on the screen right now and show you the before and then after my adjustments. The whole key to working with mobile photography here in Lightroom Mobile is to give drama to your images. Check this out with three fingers again. You can see that I'm starting with a fairly normal looking photograph. This was taken with an iPhone 6s Plus and I used a moment wide angle lens to capture this panorama from my iPhone. The before image looks pretty normal, but the drama that you can add to your photographs is amazing here inside of Lightroom Mobile. As you can see, I have my metadata appearing here in the upper left hand corner and my histogram over in the right hand corner, and I can view those as I'm working on a project, but I can also dismiss them. Check this out. By tapping on your screen with two fingers, once gets rid of the histogram, twice gets rid of the metadata, but the histogram returns, and then the third time will dismiss all of them. And you can cycle through them using two fingers to review those when needed. Of course, if you tap once on your image with a single finger, it will dismiss and hide the interface. Tap again and bring that back. And you can see all of the adjustments here that I've made to this image. If I tap and drag to the left, you can see that there are several different adjustments you can make here. Over here on the right is the reset button. I'm going to select the reset button and I'm going to reset all right there. So now you know how to reset your images if you've made some adjustments and you want to just clear them all out. And don't forget, these are non-destructive adjustments. And if I make the adjustment here, it'll appear on my iPhone and also on the desktop version of Lightroom Mobile. Okay, tapping away from that to dismiss that. Now let's get started. The first thing I do as I look at an image is I see whether its overall tone and color is correct. In other words, I'm looking for its temperature and tint or white balance. I'm now going to select white balance right there. The first thing I do when I start a project is adjust the white balance. I'm going to tap on auto because it usually gives me great results with iPhone imagery. Tapping auto, you can see that it warmed the image up. Looks great. So that's the first starting point for a project like this. Then I might go over to exposure right over here. Tapping on exposure reveals the slider here. If I tap and hold, I can move the slider to the left or to the right to decrease or increase exposure. And that's basically how all of these settings work. You tap on the setting and then you adjust the slider. Let's drop my exposure just a bit. I'm trying to get a little bit more drama in the clouds. So I'm going to just adjust the exposure slightly there. Next, I'm going to go right over to highlights. I find that it's a really nice balance between highlights and shadows for most images. Tapping on highlights, I can move this to the right and I can start to burn out the highlights in the clouds or drop the highlights down to the left and you see how I'm bringing out the contrast in those clouds? That looks great. Then let's try shadows. Let's open up the shadows by moving to the right to open up the shadow to the left to darken them down. And you know what? In a project like this, I don't want to open up the shadows too much because it flattens out the image. Let's drop those back just below normal right there for right now. Next, I'm going to select the whites. They're not the brightest whites. They're the mid-tone whites. So I can start to slide this. And you know, the real trick and success to learning how to use these is to simply select the tool and then run the slider from left to right to see what tones it's actually affecting. And that looks great. 
Let's try a little bit of clarity. Clarity is going to give us contrast in our mid-tones within the image. And if I move this to the right, you can see that it's getting rid of a little bit of that cloudy nature to the image. It looks great. Moving over here to the right, I typically add a little bit of vibrance to my images. Vibrance is going to bring up the levels of the color in your image, but only in those colors that are not oversaturated. And in this case, it's bringing up the overall saturation, but there's a point when it's too far, and there's a point when it's just right, and of course, this is subjective, so you should choose the point at which you like it. Okay, now, there's something this really needs, and it cannot be found in these standard basic settings. I want to demonstrate something called dehaze. There are a couple ways to switch between the different types of tools available to you here within Lightroom Mobile. Over here on the left, you see this icon. If I tap on this icon right here, I reveal all of the tools that are available here within these settings. I'm, of course, using the basic tools right now, but I said I wanted to add dehaze. I can tap on dehaze here, and I now have switched into the dehaze adjustment mode. I can tap on dehaze here to the left, and my slider appears. And then I can tap and slide to the right or the left. I can add more haze or reduce the amount of haze. But look what's happening to my clouds and the overall dynamics of this image. I'm giving it a really, really interesting look now. The clouds are starting to look stormy and the whole mood of the image is changing. Here's another tip and technique. If you tap and hold anywhere across the bar, right here for example, and then move up or down, you can then slide to one of the other settings. I'd like to go back to the basic settings here and do a little bit more adjustment. For example, let's play around with the blacks and let's drop the black down a little bit to really give it a nice solid black value. I don't want any gray values to those blacks, a good solid black. Now, to finish this off, I see one more element that I'd like to add. Once again, I'm going to tap and hold here then I can move up or down. Notice how that works? Let me do that one more time. I'm tapping anywhere along this bar at the base, tapping and holding, and then moving up and down. And of course, I showed you earlier, over here to the left, I can tap on the icon, and I can move to the different settings this way as well. I'm going to select and finish this off with a vignette. Tapping on Vignette then tapping on the amount of vignette over here and adjusting my slider. To the right is going to add a white vignette, to the left is going to give me a darker vignette. Wow! As I move this to the left, it's really starting to finish this image off. I'm focusing the viewer's attention on the center of this image, the most important part of this image, right here on the boat, because there's lots of detail on the edges that I don't really need my viewer to see. I want them to look in the middle of this image, and this vignette works really well. Check it out. You can also adjust the midpoint of the vignette, bringing it in or out, like this, and the feathering. Be sure and try all of these so you have a good sense of how they work. Very little feathering or a lot of feathering to your image. This is starting to look perfect. Once again, let's go back by tapping and holding here on my menu bar at the base, sliding back up here to the basics, and let's just finish this off with just a little bit of an increase to the exposure. That's it. So there you have it. That's my typical workflow when I start working on an image here inside of Adobe Lightroom Mobile. Give these techniques a try. And of course, follow along with my next tutorial in this series.